Hey guys, um, this is Fellow, and uh, I want to show you how to get rid of the advanced Mac cleaner. Now, I'm not a tech guy, I'm not an IT person. I was hoping that an IT person would post a video that actually shows you how to um, get rid of it for good, but the only videos out there are, are not good enough. They just show you how to delete it, and then it comes back, and it keeps coming back, and it drives you nuts, and I know that. Now, I don't have the app on my Mac, so I can't show you um, exactly how, but I'll show you the method, and then maybe you can apply that method and find and do it. Because I've, I've searched so much, and I found it, and I wanted to share this with you. So, um, first thing, now I know you're going to find the app here on the launch pod, and you can't delete it from here, but you don't want to delete that yet. Um, so first thing you want to do is go to the activity monitor so you can either go to go utilities activity monitor or if you're lazy like me you can always just search it like activity monitor so double click here activity monitor is on that's good so activity monitor is very important because it shows you what apps are actually active and you can actually see what apps you want to be active like I'm using these apps so it makes sense that they are active but if you see a weird app that has been active recently or active now like PTP camera what the hell is PTP camera is somebody hacking my device and like using my camera and spying on me who knows anyway so um, advanced Mac cleaner is gonna show up here and if you wanna get rid of it you're gonna have to do it through um, finding um, the files manually and deleting them so I'll take PTP camera as an example now consider this advanced Mac cleaner double click and then go to open files and ports now why this is important is because some of the files that this app is using or the advanced Mac cleaner is using do not have advanced Mac cleaner on them so they have different names so you can't find them unless you come here so the files start with always slash system so slash system slash library image capture devices ptp camera contents mac os ptp camera so that's the file now i want to get to this i gotta go through all of that um i gotta go through all these files so here's the thing you're gonna copy this link but don't copy the whole thing. Just go to where you can actually find it and delete it without actually opening it, you know? So I'm going system library image capture devices. And for advanced Mac cleaner, it's going to be a different thing, of course. Um, so I'm going copy. And then we can do the same thing over and over again by um, highlighting other files like that and then finding the rest and deleting them so how do we find it search there was another way to find it but this is also good enough so when you go to search and then you uh, paste the link the um, file is gonna show up so then you click devices I opened it that's the app I'm looking for PTP camera now I can drag this to the trash but you know I don't wanna um, risk deleting something that I shouldn't be deleting so uh, until I make sure this is not a system file then um, I can't just delete it anyway so that's the way you're gonna find the files one by one and delete them from here and then once you're done with that and then you can actually quit make sure that the um, things the app advanced Mac cleaner app stops working and then you go to uh, finder and then here you type advanced Mac cleaner and then you choose this Mac and it's gonna show up here and then you're gonna drag it to trash if it's still there after all the delete uh, deleting you've done so you don't have to delete all the files to get the app stop working. 
and stop coming back. But just delete as much as you can from that list. It's not going to be millions. It'll be like four or five. One of these uh, files is actually called AMC, which stands for Advanced Mac Cleaner. But unless you type it properly, it's gonna, it's not gonna show up. Um, so that was it. Uh, try that, and let me know in the comments if it's gone. Because in my case, it's been two days now. It hasn't returned. It used to return like immediately, like within a few hours. Um, so yeah, um, I hope some another tech guy makes a video and explain things properly. You know. Um, but that's the best I can do, and good luck.